Um, there's been a lot of rave about the defensive secondary this year um, based off what you guys have been able to accomplish in camp. Um, what are you seeing firsthand as far as, you know, the growth that you guys have shown over the past year and the obstacles you've had to overcome this offseason to develop into the uh, into the secondary that Coach Mac Brown has been raving about so far? You know, from last year to this year, there's a huge increase of, you know, first of all, depth. That was the main thing that we needed last year. And I feel that now, like, we have that. We have guys on, you know, safety, nickel corner, like, we all can play. And then we have at least, you know, another guy behind, like, every position that can play, too. So from one position to the next, one person, you know, one player to the, to the next, like, there's no – we thought there's no drop-off in, like, anybody. So, like, anybody can go in at any time, you know, to keep each other fresh and, you know, just compete. Do you believe that the secondary can be the strength of this defense in 2020? Yes, yeah, I do. I believe so. All right. Thanks, buddy. Okay, Gregory Hall, you are up. Storm, what's your scouting report of the uh, Syracuse offense? Well, you know, right now we're, you know, still looking at them a little bit. You know, they're like they're a spread, like a spread type offense. You know, they run the ball and pass ball, you know, I guess pretty much evenly. You know, you know, as the week goes on, you know, we'll keep, you know, looking at them, you know, then have a new offensive, uh, you know, coordinator. So we're going to be looking at stuff, you know, that he likes to do, you know, just like dial in on, you know, things they did in the past, you know, just watch film. That's the main thing, just keep watching tape and, you know, being in the playbook. Okay. Andrew Jones, go ahead. Hey, Storm. I've been hearing your name a lot lately when um, from Mac and, and last week we had Coach Bateman on. When they asked about the guys that have really stood out the most and your name's popping up a lot. How are you a better player now than you were perhaps at the beginning of uh, fall camp? Um, I feel like, you know, I took the initiative to uh, just get in the playbook a lot more. But that was the first thing, you know, I feel now I feel comfortable with, like any play call that we have, you know, just knowing what to do. I thought that was the first thing for me. Then, like, on top of that was my confidence I had, had gained, like, from last year to this year. I feel like those two things are really big on me. And then, you know, just obviously, you know, just working out and just, like, like doing little things on my techniques to, you know, get out of breaks faster, make plays on balls, and, you know, just be a better, better player overall. How much has the competition in your position group, especially a high level uh, of players that you guys have there, made you help make, get you better this month? Oh, it's helped me get better a ton, honestly. I mean, you know, you got guys like, you know, Patrice, Kyler, Day Day, Obi, you know, guys like that just come out every day and just, you know, it's challenge. Like, it's a challenge to get, you know, going against them every day, every play, every rep. You know, those guys coming out, you know, they make plays. You know, so it's just really we all just, you know, help each other get better. We just work and just compete, and that's the main thing. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Next up is Madeline Coleman. Madeline, go ahead. So asking in the most genuine way possible, how are you, especially given what all is happening in our world today and with it being game week? You know, I'm doing good right now. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we're all ready to play, so we're all ready to get to Saturday. So I feel like this week, you know, just, you know, take it day by day, you know, just watch a ton of film, really, you know, just to become, you know, be prepared and be ready, you know, for what we're up against, you know, in Syracuse. Thank you. All right, uh, let's go over to Alyssa Ray. We've been hearing about some battles between the DBs and the receivers in practice, and how have they made you guys better, and what do you see out of those receiver, um, the receivers, and how have they improved you all? You know, going against, you know, guys like Diami, Daz, Bo, you know, Chaffrey and Antoine, you know, those guys just, you know, make you better, obviously, because, you know, they're, we feel like they're, you know, they're the best, like one of the best receiving groups in the country, obviously. So going against those guys and just, you know, every one of those guys can do something different. You know, Bo can, you know, get the jump ball. Yami will just take off and run. You know, Daz will just try to shake you at the line and just catch you slipping. But, you know, going against those guys, it just helps you, you know, become ready for anything, really. So we feel like we're, as a secondary, you know, ready to go, against, go up against anybody, you know, since we go against our receivers. 